Let's have a look at urban, urban climate. Firstly, people, the characteristics of urban climate. You must know what urban climates look like in comparison with the rural areas. Now, we've got here a diagram that just shows you the different type of, of, of characteristics of an of, 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 uh, uh, urban climate. Um, we've got here, for instance, the gutters and the drains remove rain quickly, so less heat is used to evaporate water. We've got the, we've got the CBD that's much warmer. We've got dark brick buildings, concrete and tarmac that store wheat, uh, heat, which is released at night. In other words, it's always, it's always uh, uh, warmer and warmer in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the cities. High-rise buildings reduce the speed at the surface and warm air can build up. We sometimes got parks, parks here, the green belts. If later in the year, you'll, you'll, hear, you'll hear about the, the influence of that on, 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 your, on your city climates. Uh, lots of people, concentration of people in cities that add to the, uh, to, to the heat. The lots of cars, the factories, the industries and, 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 and the offices release la uh, large quantities of, of, of heat. So this is our characteristics. This is what the city looks like. Now, if you look at the urban areas here, the first thing you notice, no buildings, very few high buildings, very few tarred road. In other words, we are going to have a cooler uh, rural area and a warmer uh, 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 city. And that is called a heat island. And the, 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 the reason why it's called a, a heat island is the city is warm, just like an ordinary island. We have got a piece of land totally surrounded by water. Here we've got an a, 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 a island of heat. That is the city that is completely surrounded by a cooler area called the, the rural area. Now, 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 why are the cities warmer than the rural areas? This is a very important uh, uh, um, uh, um, question. Concrete that you have there, the cars that you've got there, the industries that you've got there, the glass, and the buildings. Now, if you ever look at this, all, 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 all these things that we've put on this diagram here contribute to the cities being much warmer than the surrounding areas. Now, here we've got a typical exam question. Uh, the first one was, what is an heat island concept? Quite easy, right? Piece of uh, uh, warm city surrounded by your cooler, cooler uh, um, rural areas. Which part of the city is experiencing the uh, higher temperature? Oh yes, let's just have a look at this diagram here. Yeah, I've got the city, I've just put this in the red here. And right around the city, we've got our, our rural areas, which would, would be much, much cooler. Um, which part of the city is experiencing the higher temperatures in this diagram? So look at that. That will be that area. And you go down here, you'll see it's number four, and that would be downtown. So the downtown area uh, would be the highest uh, temperatures. Um, how, do pe how have people's lives been changed because of, 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 of heat islands? Now, that's a, that's a very interesting question. Um, people have to live with air conditioners in the cities, for, uh, for, 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 for instance. They can get sick because of the, the change in temperature inside the building and the outside of, of the building. So, so people's lives have also been changed by heat islands. Uh, and then uh, what can be done to reduce the high temperatures uh, in your cities? Of course, um, that's quite easy. Uh, we should remove the public transport. Uh, I mean, you make use of more uh, pu public uh, transport, use car pools, remove the industries further away from, uh, uh, from, from the cities. Decentralization, you'll get to know this term later in your, in, in your geography as, as, as we go on, where you move certain functions away from the cities and so causing that your temperatures can drop.